All right, coming to you live from Velocity here in Santa Clara. I'm here with Steve Burton. Steve, how are you? I'm good, thanks. So now you are with? AppDynamics. And your role is? Tech Evangelist. So uh, what do you do at, uh, as a tech evangelist at uh, AppDynamics? So I'm responsible for the technical messaging, um, the social media, how we deliver our positioning, um, evangelize our customer success, um, explain how our technology works and the benefits. Um, to, to everyone in the social media communities who's online, for example, in Facebook, DZone, LinkedIn, um, Syscon, things like that. And so what is AppDynamic? What, do, what is it that you do? We do application performance management for agile and distributed applications, which are either can be on-premise or in the cloud, um, where there's a high rate of change, um, specifically high rate of agile code releases, a lot of distribution, um, a lot of SOA environments where the complexity is high um, and you need a monitoring solution to simplify and get visibility into those environments. And so I've talked also to the folks at New Relic, which seems to be in the same general space. How yeah. would you guys be differently positioned differently or what's the... So we're, like I said, we're more focused in, in the large, complex, distributed environments where a single transaction can traverse multiple application tiers, technologies, and really get in the traceability, seeing things from the user's perspective in terms of a business transaction and understanding how that traverses multiple application nodes, um, getting visibility both breadth into the end-to-end -end, um, transaction and also depth. So going deep um, so you can understand the code execution and solve problems very, very quickly. And, and then something else you mentioned to me was the types of languages that you focus on? Yep, so we're, we're really, really focused on Java and .NET. Um, we believe breadth and depth is, is very com important if you, if you look at New Relic. Obviously, they started in the Ruby space um, and extended into Python, PHP, um, and that's that's really the core differences you see yeah. in the products. Yeah. Um, we have a lot more intelligence in how we, we, we collect information, um, the analytics that runs in the backgrounds and flags um, problems and, and issues with the end user experience, and then allows the user to rapidly step through the screens and find the root cause of issues. I, I think you mentioned before we started that you guys have been around for about four years, is that right? 2008. Yeah, okay. we're doing great. Um, huge growth last year, over 500% um, on, a, on a number which wasn't small to begin with. We're hiring like mad. I think we have about 20 open recs right now. Um, and yeah, if okay. hiring, so if you, if you want to join a great fast starting company, um, come and apply at appdynamics.com. And where did the, the idea come from? Was this someone who was, who was doing their own apps and got tired of not knowing how they were performing? Was it someone who come from a company like this? It was actually, yeah, Jyoti Bansal. So he was one of the chief architects at Wiley Technology that was successful kind of back in 2004. They did the first generation of application performance management where applications were more monolithic, kind of on the same server, very easy to manage and monitor. If you look at how applications have evolved from monolithic to distributed in terms of service-oriented architectures, virtualization, agile development, the applications are changing pretty much every day, as is their architectures, and the monitoring solutions of yesterday can't really keep up and, and adapt to the change in the frequency of how transactions traverse across those environments. So Jyoti kind of knew all of the defects and the faults and limitations of the first generation product, having built that bit wily, um, and could see there was a need for, for more kind of flexible, dynamic monitoring to, to, to basically monitor applications in the cloud, where application nodes are elastic, there's more dynamic parts to it, um, and being able to monitor what those applications actually look like um, so customers can manage the performance of them. Cool. And, and then just to, to end with, what do you see um, the usage of your of, uh, AppDynamics product? How much of it would be done by developers and how much by operations and, and how do you all fit into the, the overall DevOps movement? So primarily it's, it's aimed at application support teams, operations teams who manage application performance in production. That's where the business runs, that's where the pain points are. Um, operations need the kind of the easy to use um, abstraction of what an application is, what the end users experience in terms of the transactions, and then how those transactions execute within their infrastructure. Once they can get down to the problematic application tier, or even the application component that can then engage development who can take a look at the call graph, the diagnostics, and understand what the root cause is. So it's a collaboration tool between operations and development that can both look at the same information and arrive at the conclusion of what the root cause is of a performance issue, rather than looking at log files or systems management tools or network tools, looking at application performance from different perspectives. They're never really going to be aligned and they're always trying to kind of defend um, whether the issue is related to, to their work or their environment.
Excellent. Steve Burton, thank you so much. Thank you.